Textile Industries Federation of South Africa has elected renowned actor and art activist Tony Khoroch as its chairperson following a grueling two-day elective conference in Bloemfontein last week. Now a newly uh, constituted CCIFSA board will for the first time in history formally represent the interests of South African uh, artists in various uh, sectors. Khoroch replaces Yvonne Chakachaka who was appointed uh, the interim chair. Now tell us uh, to unpack the events of last week were joined from our Seapoint studios by the Minister of Arts and Culture, Natim Tetwa. And then here in Johannesburg is the new chairperson, Tony Khoroche. Gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. Let's thanks. start, with, in fact, with the good Minister. Morning. I thank mean, you. Minister, you were at the elective conference in Bloemfontein and uh, you were part of the conference. Why was it important for the department to specifically be part of this whole process? Well, really, it, uh, it was for us uh, to uh, open an environment for artists to take their fate in their hands. As you know, that uh, over a period of time, we as government and other stakeholders have uh, criticized, have criticized the, uh, you know, artists and the creative uh, uh, industries and cultural activists that uh, their fragmentation, their division makes it difficult to deal with them as a sector. So the launch of CIFSA was a step in the right direction. All right. Tony, I mean, what does this appointment mean to you? And I've, I've been hearing this word being thrown around. It's like a cosatu of, of the creative industry. Mm -hmm. is, that, is it what this organization is about and what does this appointment mean to you? Well, um, it's what I'm seeing right now, it means a lot of work <laughs> ahead of us. Yeah. But mainly uh, is to make sure that you know we formalize the creative and cultural sectors, and look deeply into uh, uh, um, uh, things that are stumbling blocks towards growth, in terms of policy, uh, in terms of um, finance and stuff like that. What for you were the highlights of that meeting in, in Bloemfontein last week? The highlights. Yeah. Um, it was very interesting and, and hectic as well. <laughs> <laughs> the highlights is that, you know, um, the conference was, was, it came to a standstill for about, not standstill as such, but we could not move from certain issues for about six to seven hours, which ended up in us voting around like four, three, four o'clock in the morning. So that was really tiring and it was really taking strain on all of us. All right. Minister, I mean, for you, what is your biggest wish for the creative industry? This was something that the president had asked for about a couple of years ago, that the industry be formalized. Now that it's happening, what for you are the, the key issues that should be addressed from here on? Well, when the president made a call to the uh, industry and the sector generally, was uh, so that uh, we see them move forward to take up opportunities in ensuring that uh, they contribute in the regulation of the industry. They come at a very critical time uh, in the history of the, of the sector when uh, there is a review process of the white paper. Uh, and the white paper is the uh, base policy of government which uh, gives direction to regulation, to the acts, to the laws of the country, and so on. So the voice of the industry would be very important. Uh, and uh, uh, I hope uh, with uh, uh, Tony uh, at the helm, we'll be able to see the, mo uh, the movement from mm. the side of the industry, precisely because uh, it's one of the industry which is uh, extremely exploited. Uh, without any voice uh, thus far. Uh, with this uh, development in our calendar, uh, we should be on par with other industries. Uh, obviously, there are a lot of transformation uh, areas which need to be uh, ex uh, piloted and uh, uh, led by, by CIFSA uh, itself. So uh, a lot of work li lies ahead to uh, Mr. Horoch and the team. Mm. Tony, I mean, yeah. why, in your opinion, is the election of the person that leads this organization such a sensitive matter? I mean, it took hours for this industry to vote for a person. Um, it were, there were chaotic scenes. Why is this such a, a sensitive issue? 
Um, you know, I think maybe it's, it's coming more from the passion of the artist who actually were sick and tired of seeing uh, our industry falling back year after year. And everybody was trying to root for someone that they think that he is the best candidate to lead and take us out of this, this mess of operating in silos. So um, that is why then that whole passion was like that. Mm. That's why you know, other people were pushing the others because they were thinking that the others will be, represent them better than the others. How much of it had to do with race and who holds the industry, who has the power in the industry? Who has the power in the industry? I think, well, the artists themselves have power in the industry, and we should not take that away from them. And, um, and the, the mandate must actually come from the artists themselves and to us as the leadership. Minister, I mean, let's talk about the revised white paper on arts and culture and heritage. You've decided to scrap that. Why is that? We've decided to scrap what? The revised white paper on arts and culture and heritage. Well, uh, the process is, is, is open. You would mm. you'd recall that uh, uh, it started uh, some few years ago. We believe that uh, if we are to conclude, we must ensure that uh, we have taken on board the views of everybody so that uh, nobody comes back and complains and says that uh, their views were, were not taken uh, on board uh, as we move forward. What, what is important is that uh, because of the history of the industry, because of the fact that uh, there's been a lot of neglect in ensuring that uh, you uh, strengthen the, the regulatory framework within the industry itself, it, it, it becomes a, a, a critical mm -hmm. that uh, we move with everybody uh, and ensure that uh, uh, people make uh, their mark in this industry because without it, our country would continue to face serious problems uh, of uh, our artists, dying paupers, uh, important people uh, who kept uh, the fires burning in this nation. Just last week we uh, witnessed the passing on of one of our most uh, outstanding uh, artist, Sinyaga uh, Kekane. We want, uh, when that eventuality comes, particularly for artists, mm -hmm. uh, it comes and meet them uh, prepared, uh, or their families and so on. But even during their lifetime, they should be able to lead life, which uh, is, uh, you know, equal to what they do in our society in the field of arts and culture. All right. Tony, before we wrap up this conversation, <clears throat> sorry, what, what, in your opinion, needs urgent attention from here on? And how much power does this organization have? Um, the urgent thing that, that needs to be done right now is just to make sure that we organize all provinces and make sure that, you know, um, the mandate is clear from provinces in all sectors coming to us mm -hmm. and then we'll be able to create and design programs that will attend to those those kind of issues and um, secondly we, we we have to work hard in in, 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 in changing uh, policies and, and, and legislation mm -hmm. and make sure that you know um, our artists are protected and all those barriers to growth are removed to make sure that the artists are actually uh, like the minister has just mentioned now that uh, artists are dying paupers. Mm. Um, how then, what is that thing, what is that barrier that makes the artist to end up in that? We have to look into those things and break down all those barriers and making sure that there's progress in the creative sectors. All right. Thank you so much, Tony Khorokhave, in his capacity as the president of the, uh, well, chairperson of the Creative Cultural Industries it's, Federation it's, it's of South Africa. It's the president. It's the president. Thank you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> as a, as a, that is the Minister of Arts and Culture joining us from uh, C Point Studios. Minister, thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, right, the conference happened in thank Bloemfontein you. and he's, of course, the, the president of this organization. Now, let's hand over to Sam Marshall. Should be standing by.